is watching or if anybody is watching, if you've seen my videos, um, you know that I have been struggling with eczema, um, severe sensitivity issues um, for years. Off and on, uh, my skin will just take me on a ride. Um, Flare-ups of extreme rashes, flaking skin, um, just swollen eyes, runny eyes, um, just different types of irritations on my skin. And I've coped pretty well my whole life and I've um, learned that certain things are just no-no with me. Um, for instance, um, I never use detergents with perfume in them. I don't wear wool directly on my skin, uh, which could be irritating for a lot of people. Um, I've never thought I had allergies, like pollen allergies or anything of the sort, um, but I have, in the last couple of years, uh, with my flare-ups becoming more intense and more, um, just less manageable for me. I've um, started reading a lot about different um, alternative remedies or healing um, processes. Um, I also have uh, friends that are very into, um, you know, Ayurvedic healing or ancient healing. And, you know, if you think about it, it just makes sense, you know. Um, like my entire life, I've been told by dermatologists, doctors of the skin, telling me that basically my skin is just like this. I mean, like to tell somebody like, oh, you're basically a crocodile and we're just going to give you this man-made cream and we're going to put it on you and that's just what you're going to have to do. Yet I have lived successfully for more or less like eight to ten years without having breakouts. Like if I had put all the years together where I didn't have to use any cream or any supplement, any type of prescribed medication, it's more likely like eight to 10 years of my life. Um, and people have told me that I had to take, use creams whole, my whole life. That doesn't make any sense. And then I even went to a dermatologist last year because it was really, really bad last summer. If you've seen my videos before, you've seen I tried and I didn't know, I still don't know everything, of course, nobody ever does, but I didn't know enough about like where to start or what to do. And I just kind of was at my wits end and I tried to, I tried everything. Like I tried eating nothing. I tried eating only green things. I tried, uh, eating pineapple because it has anti-inflammatory uh, um, characteristics. I tried um, making smoothies. I tried acai bowls. I tried exercising. I tried not exercising. I tried taking showers. I tried not taking showers. I tried coconut oil. I tried everything. Everything. So um, I just, I realize now that even though I don't know everything, I just really think that this is like a deeply ingrained issue with me. The more I read about Candida, the more I read about Candida, the more I realized um, that I might have that. And I took the Candida um, test and it was like, oh, you're at level four. There's only five stages. Um, so I was like, you know what? It's now or never. And like, let's just do it. So I went ahead and I went and ordered uh, the Candida cleanser. And so what it does, what they say on their website is that when you have Candida and when Candida has grown in your body for so long, uh, it kind of it develops like armor or like a hard shell around it, which makes it hard for your body to just get rid of it by what solely by what you're eating or you know uh using things as diet diatomaceous earth or 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 charcoal or whatever you may be using natural supplements to get rid of it 
um, and I believe it's called Chitin. You can, you can, I'll link the uh, website below where I got this from. And like I said, I don't work for these people. I don't know much about it. I just, I'm tired, you know, I'm just tired and I want to do this right. And I want to do, I just want to try it, you know, and <clears throat> I want to try it and we'll see if it works. And cause I'm just, I'm over always feeling sick. Um, so anyway, um, what I'll do is I'll tell you, uh, my symptoms. Uh, there's like a ton of symptoms for candida and I guess everybody, some people don't get skin rashes at all. Um, but what I've been experiencing is, um, well, Eye sensitivity is probably one of the ones that I hadn't thought about until recently, but like my whole life, my eyes are so ridiculously sensitive. Like, you know how your eyes can water a little bit if you're walking in the windy weather? Like I will straight up start crying if it's just even a little bit windy outside. Like I have to wear sunglasses pretty much at all times ever since I moved back to Sweden because it's just more windy here. I just have to wear sunglasses and everywhere else I've lived, it's always been sunny. So I just wore sunglasses anyway. Um, but it just it really irritating to my eyes when, um, it's windy. Um, also like a lot of drainage. Um, a few years ago, I noticed when I eat my nose stuffs up, it's like, I have to kind of just clear my nose while I'm eating, which is really strange. Um, and that apparently is a thing, like having too much mucus or um, just having sinus issues. And I just never really thought about it because it's not something that bothers me compared to other symptoms that I'm having. Um, but I guess it could be related to that. Um, also, of course, my eczema uh, flaring up. Uh, and, and what leads me to think that it's candida is because when I was growing up, like my eczema has moved around my body from when I was a child. It's moved from being basically a permanent giant scab in the back of my neck and on my uh, the, the creases of my, my elbows and behind my knees. Um, it was terrible. Like I was just a constant, basically like, I was like that guy from Fantastic Four, like all the time. Um, to kind of it going away a little bit and then um it started to go away and it was kind of okay like throughout like I mean middle school and high school I had I had prescription medication all the time um like I always had some at my house but I don't remember going to the doctor too much but I just remember it was like always something there. Like I don't remember a time where I was like, oh, this is so great. My skin looks normal and nobody's looking at my gross red scabby skin. Like that was not a thing. Like I was always feeling icky. Then, um, so yeah, but now it's changing where my eczema used to be very focused on a couple pieces of my body. Like I kind of always knew like, oh, okay, it's flaring up, it's in the crease of my elbow or it's flaring up like for years I've had this one patch right here on my on my uh, jaw um, for a while it was somewhere else like it'll be a couple of years and it'll move somewhere else now in the last few years whenever I have a flare up it's like my whole body just goes ape shit like from here down like basically now it's all the way down to my knees I'll get breakouts before it was just patches here and there but now it's like my stomach the back of my knees the inside of my thighs the crease of my elbows my underarms my fingers have broken out before my knuckles have been sore and red and scaly um my the my collarbone um redness you can see it right now I still have it um, the back of my ears cracking, like in the creases behind my head, between my head and my ear, um, uh, dryness under my eyes. Um, I swear I'm not tired. Like this is just what my face looks like now. And I don't know if it's scarring or if it's something else, but I'm just like, this is not what my face looks like. Um, 
So that's a big, big one. Um, I'm tired, like all the time. Um, unless I'm like out doing something actively, like walking around, or I'm just kind of can't wait to go home and sit down, kind of thing. Um, and it could be like one thing is exhausting. So like going to the store and being gone for like an hour can be like, you know, to me it feels like I did like a whole thing of work for a whole day. Um, and that's just, I didn't used to be like that. Um, uh, brain fog. <laughs> like you hear me say mm, a lot and I, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know uh, what to say next. Like I, I have a bunch of thoughts in my brain and I'm just, I guess that's what they call brain fog. I've seen brain fog a lot and I'm assuming that that's what they mean because I just feel confused about what I'm doing a lot. Like I'll put down my phone and walk away from it and then like 10 seconds later I'll be like, where did I put my phone? And I'll legit walk around and look for it for like 10 minutes sometimes. Uh, and it'll be somewhere weird. Like I'll, I will put it, you know, like on the bookshelf in the living room, like a place where I never would put that. Or, uh, you know, like losing my keys. Uh, I lose my keys at least a couple times a week or I think I lose them. I think I lose my wallet. Um, I'll think about something like, all right, like I'm going to do this. This is what, I, what I'll do today. And I'll have it all planned out in my head and then I'll get up to do it. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So that's a big one for me. Like not getting, not having to get up and go, not having the, like, this is what I'm doing and then doing it. Like there's a huge disconnect there and I just, it's frustrating. Um, what else? Um, what else are my symptoms? Let me analyze. Uh, my body hurts, but I don't know if that's related or not, but I have like achy joints. Um, mm, it seems sometimes like it's just not related to anything because I was just in the States for three months and I ate everything that I wanted. Um, I was in different climates. I was in dry, cold climates. I was in warm-ish, southern temperature weather. Uh, not full-blown, like, 100 degree heat, but, you know, summery time type of weather. And um, I was fine the entire time until about two weeks before I came back. So, is it stress related? Do I hate being in Sweden? Maybe. Um, maybe, but I was breaking out when I lived in Alabama too. Um, from various things, I believe. Um, like mold exposure, um, probably some plant allergy type situation, but like all of these things are not normal. Like from what I've read, and it makes sense to me, like you're not supposed to be allergic to nature. You're not supposed to be super sensitive to things that are existing in the world. You know what I mean? Like that's not normal. Like for a dermatologist that has basically studied some of what Hippocrates spoke about like years and years and years and years ago, for them, for them, somebody who is educated in the skin to tell me, oh, well, this whole thing that you're talking about, healing from within and have gut health having to do with your skin and stuff, that's very popular right now. And I'm looking at them like, but you study the body and you think that a pill that I buy from you that somebody made in a factory is going to help me more than me giving the fuel to my body that it is meant to consume to rid me of this problem. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, how... Can you not believe that that is real? Like Hippocrates said, like all disease start in the stomach. And so I don't understand how a person that has made it their life to study humans and their bodies and to heal people 
to tell me that I'm ludicrous for thinking that you can heal your body from what you put in it. Makes I'm taking, which is the actual cleanse, is this. It is, you take one capsule four times a day during your meals for five days. And then you take a 10 break, 10, 10 day break. Um, I bought the family pack just because I figured if I've had candida, like basically my whole life, I don't think one go around on this is going to do it. So I'm just going to keep doing this as it tilts out. Um, so this, uh, contains something called Lufeneron, which is, it says chitin synthesis inhibitor. So basically the stuff that they say is coating your candida that makes it resistant to stuff, it breaks it down. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. We're gonna try it. And now the second thing that I'm taking, which I haven't taken enough of, I think, because I was kind of confused about when to take it, is the Zioco, which is a zeolite, so it's a zeolite clay, I'm assuming, uh, bamboo charcoal. So what uh, clay and, uh, zeolite clay and charcoal does is like it, it attracts poison and toxins in your body, and it basically like clumps it together, and then you poop it out. And so, I was supposed to take this like in between taking these guys, but I wasn't really clear on that. I figured I was just supposed to take this like if I had terrible symptoms from taking the other stuff. Um, but I guess I'm supposed to take this like two hours after every time I take a candida pill, just so it won't kind of take the candida treatment with it out. Um, so you kind of just wait for the candida stuff to do its thing. You wait two hours, you take this, you wait another two hours, and you take another one of these. So basically, you're taking a pill every two hours. So it's quite intense, this this thing that I'm doing. Uh, anyway, so I got a couple of these too, and we'll see how many of these I end up taking. But I, for today, I will try to do it by the book and see what happens. Then... In addition to these, you get this bottle of probiotic. And so you take this twice a day. And you take a, quite a tiny little bit of it, actually. Uh, one, eighth to, one eighth to one quarter of a teaspoon in like water or juice uh, twice a day. So I have 60 caps in this. Basically, I figured I'll be taking, doing this until about June. But I think it can't be that hard, right? Like, I got to get into the routine of it. Um, because right now, I find myself, like, not wanting to leave the house because I have to, like, eat something and take a pill. And I also, I'm also, I'm trying to, like, eat clean um, and not, like, buy much of junk to eat while I'm doing this. Which is hard when, like, if you go outside, like, I'm not going to come back every two hours to my house. Um... If I'm out, you know, and so it's kind of hard to like just eat home cooked meals. Um, so it's kind of consuming, but I'm hoping like the second five day period, I'll be all right. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Oh, and then in addition to doing this every night. So basically what they said is you take this if you have. So there's something called like, sorry if I'm scratching a lot. I'm really itchy right now. Um, they're saying that this is like, this is basically to help you take whatever you're breaking down in the candida. This is to flush it out. Um, so in addition to this, what I am doing every night is I take, uh, diatomaceous earth in capsule form. I take slippery elm also in capsule form. I take, oh, and I take, uh, psyllium husk uh in in pow it's like powdered and it's basically just it doesn't contain any nutrition whatsoever it's just you put it in water and like i put like one to three tablespoons in water and you whisk it around real quick and you just slurp it all down and what it does it's kind of abrasive on the inside of your intestine 
So whatever is stuck on your insides of your intestines is supposed to like scrape it down and help come out. So I've been doing that every night um, just to kind of, I guess, hopefully prevent any crazy die-off symptoms because like the sooner you get the stuff out of your body, you know, the less chance of it entering through your intestine and coming out into your bloodstream and giving you symptoms like rashes or other things. Like you want to just kill it and get it out, you know? And so that's hopefully what this will do. So now that you know what I'm doing, um, this, like I said, this is day three. I've only taken one pill and one charcoal thingy today. I'm about to take my second pill. I'm about to make some food uh, to eat it with. Um, I'm ex a little itchier than I was yesterday, but like my sister saw me yesterday and she was like, oh my God, like it's all gone. And I'm like, it's not gone, but it looks a lot better than it did uh, like a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but it's because I've been doing the psyllium part uh, and the detox stuff. I've been doing that for like a week before I started the cleanse. And I've also been kind of good about not eating refined sugar like I've definitely not had any like sugar packets like on stuff but I've had like some tea with honey and other things but um I think that's helped a lot and so this is this is the test we'll see if it works so I'll uh come back after uh, I guess after I've completed five days maybe maybe sooner and we'll see how I feel oh let me show you my my uh, skin now. So let's see if I can. I have like this is mostly scarring at this point, but like you can see. Okay, let me just show you. My skin is like kind of inflamed it's reddish uh right now i put a lot of coconut oil on it because i just came out of the shower but it's like it's not as bad at all as it has been and you see like my eyes and like around my eyes are a little bit like you see how it's like it's kind of papery i don't know like it's a little dry and it's like they're really sensitive just now like that just made me want to i don't know it just, it's, it feels weird. Uh, I used to have a lot more stuff on my back. It was like really gross. Like I was just bringing out my back. Now it's just kind of like a little dry and it's a little itchy, but it's like dry and coming off and I'm not itching from the inside, which was what I was doing last summer. I was like, it felt like I had just like creepy crawlies like all over and it was horrible. But like I said, right now, it looks it looks great on this arm actually. It's when you get over here and you see like this is like a little bumpy and like over here I got like these little spots and stuff, but mostly this and my face is the irritating, most irritating part right now. And so I'm hoping that this is all that's gonna happen. Um we don't know. Like some, maybe it'll get like horrible. I don't know. So, you know, I'll update you if that happens. Um, but yeah, for now, um, other than being kind of inconvenient to do this, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Like it's not, um, I don't feel terrible. Um, other than the brain stuff is really bad. Um, and it was bad before, so I don't know if it's getting worse with me taking the pills or not. Um, but uh, I will keep you posted. And I'll see you in the next video.